Hello and welcome to Fish and Forage. My name is Zach and today we are on a river doing some blue lining. I've wanted to do this since I learned what blue lining is, which was like last year. If you aren't aware what blue lining is, it's finding a blue line on a map and then going there and just walking along it trying to catch fish. So this is a river I've known about. I've never actually fished it, but we're gonna walk upstream and try to find some pools or some riffles. I don't know if there's trout in here. I know there's trout in the river below it, so I'm assuming that there's gotta be some in here. I'm not expecting to catch anything big, but it should be fun. I wanna, I wanna kinda explore today. And I brought with me uh, my regular, actually my new ultralight rod. It's actually a Slilo Okuma with an Okuma Kmar reel. I'm going to try to throw this, uh, I have a rooster tail hooked up. That'll be the first lure I try. It's just a small rooster tail. It's kind of a brown and white color to imitate. I want to say like a small brown trout fry or something, but just get some flash in the water. So if I catch one, I'm going to try to cook it up on the riverside with some butter. If not, I did bring one of those cool dehydrated meals. I've never had one of those either. They're the kind you just put boiling water into and it cooks in the bag and everything. So that should be interesting. I'll try that. It's like beef stroganoff, which is kind of ritzy for out in the woods, but I'm interested to try it out. But yeah, this is what I'm starting with. It's really cold. Like the water is frigid. This is like runoff water high in the mountains. Shoot, it's supposed to be a nice day. It's a little cloudy now, but hopefully it warms up and I don't get too cold. We'll see if we can't, uh, if we can't catch any fish today. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, first cast. The water's so clear. I don't see any fish. But that doesn't mean they're not there. It's like crystal clear water. No signs of life here. There's a hole there. Let's go the potentially easier way. Be really careful. The rocks are very slick. Well, let's toss a couple casts here before we cross. I don't know how far up we're going to get. This is uh, slightly more treacherous than I was hoping. Oh, I got a strike. I got a strike and I got it in the tree. You got to be kidding me. All right, you guys. Let's see if I can get that fish. Oh, those little baby ones going after it. Oh. And do it. Dang it. Goodbye to the rooster tail. Gives me a good opportunity to show off my cool little ultralight trout box. So I put this together. This tiny little box for stream fishing. So I've got 
all sorts of things. I got several spinners, some Pan Panther Martin. I got a Blue Fox. I got some Split Shot, some Cast Masters, some Pink Worms for drifting, and I got some hooks. And I also have some bait in there, and then some swivels and some some nice little small 1 16th ounce uh, floats. But I'm gonna put that Panther Martin on there. He looks good. And we'll try again. Just tying it on there with the basic trilene knot. a gorgeous area. I think I can catch a fish out of those falls. We're gonna give it a shot. Oh, there's fish going for it. Just had one follow it. Oh, fish on, fish on guys. Let's go, it's a little guy. He's darting towards me. Come here, buddy. Oh, he popped off. <laughs> he's a tiny little trout, I think it's a rainbow. They're in here. Be really careful with my casts, there's trees all over. Oh, got a little nibble. No, that's all it was, just a nibble. Oh, fish on! Yes! He's a jumper. Yeah, I'll keep this one on. Oh, yes! Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Oh, hook popped out. Let's get this hook out of there with you, buddy. I'll show you this beautiful fish. Don't think this is big enough to keep. I <laughs> get like a bite out of him. But he is very beautiful. Check this out, guys. Look at those colors. Hope you can see this. I don't have the camera facing the right way. Gorgeous little fish. Took the Panther Martin. All right, bud. This gives you an underwater release. There he goes. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. We got one. Beautiful little guy. That's excellent. Most excellent. So that, you guys, is, that's the essence of blue lining. Super happy about that. Let's catch another one. I can't impress enough how beautiful this whole area is. The water is crystal clear, everything's green, it's starting to get sunny out. It's just gorgeous. Just coming up to the next pool. It's another, it's another really good looking one. Right below a much bigger rapid actually. This looks like primo fishing water right here. Take a look at that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna catch a couple out of here. I think I got some chances. Got you guys, perfect. It's got slow moving deep pockets in here. Oh, that was a bigger one. Oh yeah, there's definitely some bigger ones in there. He's following it, he's following it. It's so cool, I can watch him. I can watch them chase the spinner from like all the way in the river. It's so cool. <laughs> I had two of them following at that time. They were a little bit, I think they were a little bit bigger than the last one, but not much. Probably not eating size. I might have to fall back on my, my beef and stroganoff, guys. <laughs> Let's move up into those headwaters. There's like this channel that's up there. Not headwaters. Up into the, the tail out is the proper term for it. 
and, uh, and try again. They're fishing here. Yeah, there's a lot of water here that there could be fish hiding in. Oh God. Made it through. Oh, fish on. Another little guy, he's even smaller than the last one. If he falls off, I'm okay with that. Long distance release. There we go, bud. <laughs> he's so small. Come here, buddy. You can fit in a fish tank. Very beautiful though. Absolutely gorgeous fish. See you later, bud. You're free. There he goes. <laughs> Not the size we're looking for, that's for sure. <laughs> that's the attitude we're looking for. Oh, yep, fish on. He's running, he's running. He's another little guy. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. Another adorable little smolt that barely fits in the net. Sorry, little guy. So we got all three barbs in him. All right. Send you on your way. Here he goes. He blends right in with the rocks. He's right there. <laughs> so cool. Oh. Whew. Worked up a little bit of an appetite climbing up those riffles. I'm gonna take a quick breather. So if you guys are thinking about doing anything like this, right now it's summertime, so it's, it's nice and warm. And instead of having waders, I wear, I just wear shorts called wet wading. But uh, I'd recommend some solid sandals or like closed toed sandals these are actually made for like walking through water and stuff so i've been using these for a while but they're this is keen i don't know if you can see that keen brand i'll put a link to these in the description below if you're interested but this isn't something that i would recommend going like with your sneakers or whatnot the rocks are really slippery and even with these things that are made for it like it can get slightly treacherous i'm sure i'll have some slips and falls in the video but it's a lot of fun i actually really enjoy it but Funnily enough, so I did bring, I did bring some snacks aside from my beef stroganoff. I got some trail mix. This is like my go-to. Another thing, another really funny thing. Uh, I didn't notice till literally just now, but I was thinking about it earlier. Right now, it's kind of salmonberry season, and I know they they grow up here. So um, yeah. Funnily enough, literally right behind the camera, there's a bush of salmon berries. So I'm gonna go pick those and show them to you guys. Cause it's really cool. Yeah, check it out guys. These are like, oh wow. These are like perfectly ripe salmon berries. Look at that. There's a bunch of them too. Talk about a nice uh, mid trek snack. So these are salmon berries. They essentially just look like orange raspberries. They're native around here. They grow all over the place, up in the hills. Ugh. If you get them when they're ripe, they're actually pretty good. But they really are just like orange raspberries. They taste similar. They aren't quite as sweet as raspberries, but they taste really similar. If you get them when they're not quite ripe, they're a little vegetal. This will give me some extra energy. Make it up river more. That's really that is very very convenient. If you're gonna go out and explore and you know go up in the hills or in the woods, I'd recommend at least the rudimentary knowledge of like your local flora and fauna, so you know. Like I know that these are edible. Salmon berries are edible. 
there's a lot of berries that aren't edible. So having the knowledge to know which berries to eat, which berries not to eat, which mushrooms to eat, which not to eat, it's really helpful, you know, and you can get some nice bonus. I'm out here going for fish and hiking around and I was like, oh, I'm kind of tired. I'm gonna sit down and eat some trail mix and I find some berries that I can add to it as well. So it's nice, it's a nice little perk. I'm glad I could take you guys along too. I was looking on Google Maps and there's a pool. I think I'm almost to it, but it's a really big pool. And I think I have a good chance of catching a bigger trout in there, but we'll see. I think I'm almost to it. I think it might be around another, another bend or so. Or maybe not. I could be really bad at gauging distance. We'll see. We're going to head up there anyway. Also, don't forget a source of water. Whether it be some bottles of water, since I'm only going to be out for this today, or they make those life straw things for if you have overnight stays and you don't want to carry a bunch of water with you. But you don't want to get dehydrated. I'm feeling much better. I'm actually really happy I stopped and saw the salmon berries. So that was awesome. Anyway, let's go back on the chest cam and hike up river a little bit. This place is just gorgeous. Everywhere I look, it's just amazing. Woo! Look at this, guys. Some high quality salmon berries here. Wow. Look how big that one is. Jeez. Mm. Oh, God, an ant. Mine. Get out of here, ant. You can see up there that pool. I think that's our destination, guys. I'm gonna try to cast a couple times here. See what uh, see what we can pull. Maybe there's a fish. Let it sink for a little bit here. Wow, he came out of nowhere. Fish on. Let's go. He darted out. I didn't even see where he was. I just saw him charge at this thing. This is the biggest one of the day, I think. Definitely the biggest one of the day. Which isn't saying much, but... This guy's definitely eight inches, but he's such a small little guy. I don't want to eat him. Look at that. Look at those gorgeous colors. He was just hiding on the bottom. Beautiful fish. Off he goes. Gorgeous little fish. Oh, fish on. That's a nicer one. Let's go. Uh, it's about the same size. He just hit it pretty hard. Oh, his colors are gorgeous. All right, bud, calm down, calm down. Look at that red band down its side. That's absolutely gorgeous. God, these fish are so beautiful. I hope that sheen gets on the camera. Oh, all right, you're off. See you later, bud. <laughs> there he goes. Crazy. I see him down there still. He's just chilling. He's like, I'm done. You can find me a nice hole to sit in and recover. A little tight. Tight little spot. Not much room to fish. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, he's a jumper. Wow. Look at him go. He is fighting. Come here, bud. Yes. This guy might be the biggest now. Look how beautiful this fish is. This guy, he's close to an eater. He's close to an eater. Do I want to? Do I want to eat this fish? It's so beautiful. I think I'll wait for a slightly bigger one. 
I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna regret it, but... It's not, he wouldn't be much of a meal. See you later, bud. It's your lucky day. See if I can't get one more. Nice big one. It's getting real close to eater size, guys. Okay. Let's move up a little bit. See if we can't find another spot. Soaked. I just fell face first into the river chasing after my damn net. So yeah, what's a better system than this crappy bungee? Because I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take a couple minutes to recuperate and try to move back up. <laughs> That's why I said, I did say earlier, even with the right footwear, you have to be careful because it's treacherous. I lost my footing completely faced it into the river got it on video so there you go what do you guys think so far <laughs> oh my god I'm just gonna drop everything into the water all right this is as good a place as any well guys we got skunk fishing but we have a backup lately the wife and I are are planning on doing some hike camping so we're looking at these lightweight dehydrated adventure meals so this is kind of the test run so i guess what you do with these is you just open it up you boil in this case one and two thirds cups of water and then you stir it in there and then you just let it you basically let it sit for 10 minutes and then you can eat it so let's give it a shot we're gonna we're gonna try this this is the first time I got, this is the beef and stroganoff with noodles. There's like a ton of different flavors. So I found these at Sportsman's. There's, there's a ton like breakfast style, lasagna, the other one is lasagna, but we're going to boil some water. So let's get to it. And the guy in the store who's, who's had this before, he said that underestimating is better than overestimating. Start this bad boy up. That's what it looks like. It's got some dehydrated beef stroganoff here, guys. <laughs> Should be interesting. Ooh, it smells pretty good. All right, guys, while we're waiting for that water to boil, I want you guys to tell me what you think in the comments below. Like, do you like these types of videos where I'm out exploring all day, cooking, cooking food and catching and cooking if I can? You know, let me know if you want more of these. I'm, I'm, I'm having a pretty good time, minus the spill in the water, but I'd totally love to do more. If you've never seen a video of mine before, uh, my name's Zach. Welcome to Fish and Forage for one. I do fishing, foraging, cooking, and how-tos and DIYs uh, all over the Northwest. So if you like that type of content, if you want to see more fishing and more foraging, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. But I think the water's about to boil. I'm going to very carefully pour this in here. All right, stir carefully. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. Don't worry, I'm stirring it. And there we go. In about 10 minutes, or we wait five minutes and then stir again. Oh, and then uh, another four minutes after that, we have uh, we have our food. All right, it's been about four minutes or five minutes. So we're gonna stir it once again, getting that good stir on. And then we let it sit for another four minutes. Hmm, smells pretty good. So they're only four ounces, which means that they're really, really easy to pack. If these turn out to be decent, then it might be a good option when we're going uh, on our on our overnight hiking trips. I think it's been long enough, but I'm gonna add a little special something 
I uh, brought along a little bit of butter in case I caught a, trout, a keeper trout. Uh, obviously I didn't catch one, so I'm gonna add a little bit to the bag and, I mean, beef stroganoff with noodles plus butter, what's, what could go wrong, right? It sounds amazing. A little pad, a little bit of butter. Right into there, boom. Ooh, you can see it in there. Oh yeah, stir that around real good. All right, I think it's all mixed in there. Time for the first bite. It's kind of hot. So it looks pretty good. It's not bad. It's got like, I don't know, I've never really had like dehydrated stuff too much. But it tastes kind of like the bag a little bit, like the plastic or whatever this material bag is. It could just be because it's been sealed in there for too long or maybe that's just what dehydrated food tastes like. But it's really not bad. I think it's got 560 calories for the whole bag. It's technically two servings. But I'm gonna eat it all in one go. Pretty hungry after falling into the damn river. So after this, gonna pack up, pack up, head back down river, do a little fishing on the way. Call it a call it a good day. It's already a successful day. Caught. I, I should have kept that one. It was definitely like 10 or 11 inches, so it wasn't too. It wasn't that small, and it had some shoulders to it. It was a little thicker. I could, I could have kept it. It's okay. I was kind of excited to try this thing out too, and it's actually pretty tasty. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's, it's better than it has any right to be after considering it was like, you know, dehydrated dust and noodles a second ago. Have you guys had these before? Let me know what the good ones are. Like in the comments below, let me know what the good flavors of this Adventure Meals is. Or if there's any other like competing competing brands, um, I'm willing to try it. Let me know what the best ones are because I want to take the good stuff, you know. The sun went away and the wind kicked up. It's a little chilly. I stopped moving and fell in the water. That didn't help. Might have got used to it. Or that bag flavor might have just went away because it tastes pretty normal now. And that is all she wrote. All right, let's pack up, clean up my mess, and get back on the water. Remember, if you, if you pack it in, pack it out. No littering. All right, we're off. Oh, it's cold. Now the trek back. With some nice stroganoff in my belly. Ooh, it's a hummingbird. <laughs> He's gonna say hi, I guess. I thought it was a big moth. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great day this day, and I hope to bring you some more videos like this in the future. So if you did like this, again, don't forget to subscribe. Comment below what you think. Like this video. All that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. With that said, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.